I look at the schedule, I see 18 conference games. You got to play uh, nine at home, uh, nine on the road. Um, when I getting prepared for Memphis, I saw a good team, you know. Um, but you know, they're all um, they're all tough this time of the year. But if you don't have a good team, you don't have tough games. You know, the fact that this game means something means we have a good team, and we're playing a really good team on their home court. Uh, their um, building situation is similar to ours too. This will be the last game played in that building uh, before the remodel. I think uh, Mick told me he's playing all his games next year at Northern Kentucky, um, which is just right across the river from Cincinnati. So he's going to be out of his building for a year. So senior night, last night in the building, coming off a loss, uh, piece of cake. Um, Cincinnati, I, I just got done watching the film. That was a long time ago. We played them on January the 7th. That was um, a long time ago. I think we're a lot better now, but I think they are too. So this will, I think it will be a good game. What these kids have accomplished, um, given the situation they were put in, uh, not having him for, uh, I think, 14 or 15 games, uh, and hang it in there. You know, We didn't have him at Arkansas. We didn't have him against Rhode Island. We didn't have him against Harvard. We didn't have him against those Memphis. You know, our record is 13, I think. In, what's our record with Devin? 13 and 2? Yeah, so, I mean, we're a totally different team with him. Are we capable of winning at Cincinnati? Of course we are. You know. That's why you play the game. You play it to win it. Um, and then we have East Carolina. So we either, we're either going to wind up winning uh, 9 out of the 10 or 8 out of the 10. I think that's pretty good for this group.